Call it turkey. How do you like it better? It's good. Yeah. Do you like it more or less than the sake? That's good. It's it's good. Enjoying really? that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like the hot sake more? Or? Looks good. I know that. No, it's now good. I know what you like. So you like this way? I have to bring plum wine. It's just good. I like it. It's like yeah. apple juice, but delicious and alcohol. I have to go to sleep. I have to get up early in the morning for work tomorrow. Is that what you're working on now? The I don't project know. there? Or just that's why I say that. I don't like apple juice, but I like it. Online uh, blogs. Playing. Playing. That's the response. But I worked all day. Is that a. The, you got like a microcomputer? Yeah. So do you feel trapped? And what? In your job. No, I have two jobs. I'm trapped. If I feel trapped in one, I just will go to another one. <laughs> <laughs> in a sense, what she's saying is very, very true. Yeah. So, you know, she goes from one job to another. And, you know, in the United States, we all kind of work like two jobs. <laughs> you know? But for me, anyway, I, I work as a baker. Mm -hmm. I work six days a week. And then the, I teach. So, you know, not that teaching is a job, but it is a job in the sense where, you know, people <coughs> constantly want me to teach them. You know? yeah. So I have to physically be there to teach them, you know. So, um, you know, uh, you go from one to the other, but the teaching I have more passion. People say, well, why haven't I turned that more into a business? Yeah. Well, most likely I will eventually because I need something to retire on and I'll open it up to a business. But basically, I was taught from the passion of what I do. So I went from one environment, and I always had something. But people have to discover what they have. You know, if you're an artist, you need to come home and paint. If you're a martial artist, you need to come home and practice. If you're a family man, you need to come home and spend time with your family, well, male or female. You know, if, if you like animals, then learn about animals. Take different courses, do different things. It's all about personal research and personal involvement. If you like playing games on the computer, and you, you become good at that, then you come home and you have a passion in it. But also, maybe you should learn how to do game design, you know, or you, you, or you, you play with that a little bit, maybe designing your own game. Fine. People think it's so hard to do. It's not a matter of accomplishing becoming famous because you're a great game designer. It's about you finding yourself in the passion in what you enjoy. I don't cross worlds. What does that mean? <laughs> no, it's what her friend always says. But um, no, like just because I like playing video games doesn't want, doesn't mean I want to design them. Oh no, but that's it depends. I'm just like it's just it's just as a used as a tool. If all you want to do is play video games, it's fine. But if you have a desire to get deeper into it, then maybe you want to create a game or create a story. You watch movies. Why not create a movie? You know. You know, like the whatever it may be. But what I'm saying is, it's like a lot of times you could take something that you're passionate about and make it work, and then it's no longer fun. It becomes a job, and it becomes work because you have to keep people there. You have to have employees. You have to you have to keep the money coming in, and it loses it. And that's where sometimes the simple things are the most enjoyable things, like standing, sitting here, and talking. And being here, being present, not thinking about uh, my job or what I have to do, enjoying the company, enjoying where I am, being present is important. That's also in the job. Bringing your personality to who, what you are, recognizing that you're present, but you go and you drag your feet there and say, oh, this boss is miserable, this person. Well, you need to learn how to deal with that. And that's how you grow and learn as an individual as well. And then maybe in time you move out of that job into some other career that you may want to investigate. That may take you some time, but you may have to start to get the wheels moving in motion to do that. And it may take years, usually it does, you know, take years for that to actually transition to start. But in the meantime, you need, you put those strategies into play. You're going to school part time, you're doing whatever you have to do, you're making the right connections, and it's got to be four years before you can change your career. And in that, until that happens, you're miserable. And then when you change the career, then you say, well, maybe this wasn't the right decision. <laughs> you know, maybe I, now I'm miserable again. It's everything, and we, we seem to be, you know, in that constant circle. The way to break the circle is to recognize that you're really not trapped. You know, that we are all subject to our environment, but it really depends on what you do with it that's going to make all the difference in the world. 
So what you do with your personal life and how you surround that, what you do when you come home, what you do, what you have interest in, uh, seeking out different avenues of your career or whatever it may be, balancing your time a little bit better and not being lazy. You know, not being lazy. Not, you know, that's what I mean by balancing it. Sometimes you have to come home and you have to attack what you want to do. But if that's what you have passion in, you have to do it. You can't let the negativity stop you from doing positive things in life and having a more positive attitude. Positive attitude does not mean I'm going to have a positive attitude. You know, what the heck is that? I'm going to think positively from now on. You know, it, it, it doesn't, it's a state of mind. You know, it's a state of being. And, and it's that applied to the martial arts and to anything that you do. It's not that one day you're going to wake up and say, oh, I'm going to think positive. I want to be positive today. As soon as you have a oh, I'm thinking negative thoughts. I shouldn't have that. I have to think positive. You've already lost it. It's really a state of being, a state of mind. And that state of mind has to grow and blossom and become stronger within your personality in your everyday life, in your marriage, in your relationship, in your job, in your career, in your whole personality, in everything that you do. That simply taking a cup of tea, listening to the, the pot boil, and pouring it and hearing the water hit the glass is very, very important. Because it's right there in the moment, it's happening. And really, that cup of tea at that point is really all you need. You know? Because you really want that cup of tea. But if you listen to it and hear it, you get, you recognize the moment. Sitting here with the people I'm sitting with, I like sitting here because I'm in the moment. When I'm at work, it's difficult. But I'll put myself in the moment of a work and atmosphere. I'm here, I'm going to do what I have to do, I'm going to bake and sweat in front of these ovens, fine. You know, because it also does allow me, I'm doing it in a form of energy. I'm giving energy. They give me energy in the form of paper that I can go out and spend. Right? <laughs> right? So they're giving me, showing me they're giving us energy, and basically that's what makes the world go around. You know? and, and you try not to step on people to where you want.